Now, guys, to a donation of a completely different kind, Stuart Flynn has lymphoma and he needs a stem cell transplant. But his problem is that finding a compatible donor just isn't that easy. Want to take his hand? There you go. Stuart Flynn is like any new dad, savouring every moment with his first son. But behind the smile, Stuart is battling a rare form of lymphoma, or blood cancer. Starting two years ago with something that seemed so innocent. Bridget was giving me a hard time for having a man cold. Um, so um, I thought I'd better go and get that checked out. And uh, unfortunately it wasn't a man cold, it was a 14 centimetre tumour in my chest. A year later, Stuart believed he was in remission. But just two weeks before his wedding to Bridget, he found out the cancer had returned. So that was pretty devastating. Um, our honeymoon ended up being at uh, Strathfield Hospital. After fighting back again, he was dealt yet another blow, with news of a relapse just six weeks before the birth of baby Daniel. Yeah, it's like my world's fallen apart. You just don't know where you're going to get the courage to go through all the process again because we know exactly what's in store now. Stuart's ongoing aggressive treatment to attack the cancer cells in his blood will unfortunately destroy vital blood-forming stem cells. Like many blood disorder patients, Stuart's only hope of a cure is through a stem cell transplant. Essentially, he needs a new immune system because his own does not recognise lymphoma as a disease. The two choices I have are to undergo a risky stem cell transplant or to die of cancer, so um, it's, it's a pretty easy decision. Siblings are the ideal donors, but like Stuart, 70% of patients won't find their genetic match within their family. And finding an unrelated donor who is perfectly compatible can be like winning the lotto. I think there's that sort of perception of, oh, someone else will do it, but no one's doing it. While half a million Aussies donate blood, only 175,000 people are registered to donate bone marrow or stem cells. We're really looking to encourage people between the ages of 18 and 40. You go to the blood bank and donate your blood, tell them that you want to join the registry, and they will take an extra 20 or 30 mils of blood for tissue typing purposes. Because finding a perfect match is difficult, only one in a thousand potential donors will be asked to give stem cells to a patient needing a transplant in any given year. To donate bone marrow, uh, it means a night in hospital, a general anaesthetic. The bone marrow is extracted from your hip bone. You might feel a bit stiff and sore and tired for a few days, but really limited side effects. The other non-surgical way to donate is like a blood transfusion. An injection is given for four days, which stimulates the stem cells out of the bone marrow and into the bloodstream. The stem cells are then collected like a blood donation. Signing a consent form at the blood bank could mean the difference between life and death for someone like Stuart. There's a lot of people on, that routinely go and give blood, and if they could just take that extra step and sign a consent form, um, then they could potentially save other people's lives as well. It's such a great example of what difference you can make if you do sign that form and you get in that place where you're on the bone marrow registry and you can completely change someone's life. As Stuart said, we can't just keep saying, well, somebody else will do it. We all actually have to jump yeah. in and, and get on that registry. Yeah, I think that's right, but I think there's that fear people already have about giving blood and it's that next yeah. thing, is it a general anaesthetic and the pain? But, I mean, as he says, it's saving someone's life. You know, we might be uncomfortable for a, a day or two, but... It's really life and death, isn't Definitely. it? We've had an enormous number of comments on the website about this. A lot of people saying they need a donor. So if you're interested, you know, you could save the life of a fellow viewer of this show. And we've had a comment from uh, Ryan, who is a leukaemia sufferer, saying that this can be the only shot to say stuff here, leukaemia, time to die. And he said, it doesn't hurt as much as you think. It's like a hurt muscle. So get involved, mm. please. And if you do want more information on the Australian Bone Marrow Donor Registry, just head to 7pmproject.com.au. We're going to be back after the break. Don't go away.